Roses in her garden, she leans across the wall. They talk whenever it suits them both, and some days not at all. Who's the sweet man you have today? He must be Bridie's lad. He's a lovely child, God bless him. Says Maggie, he's not too bad. <laughs> It's an immersive workshop that's centered on songwriting and poetry and literary works as well as cultural uh, art in a specific location. And so in this case, it's been in, in the Mourns. The notion is to get people out of their comfort zones and get them into a brand new place so that they are more open to creative notions. They're more open to outside ideas and influence. And the idea is that we would immerse a group of writers in a culture, get them out during the day, do some workshops, focus on specific techniques that they can use in their songwriting, but also make sure that they're getting out into the culture and experiencing those things like place, setting, characters, all the things that we're talking about when we're writing about, uh, when we're using narratives to write. So everything that we teach corresponds with the experiences that they have while we're in Ireland. As we're driving up the road here, you'll notice that there are stone wall ditches. There's nothing holding these together but a wing and a prayer because there's, it's just stone set on top of stone. From the first day, uh, we began with kind of a 101 of songwriting and poetics. I handled the poetic side where we looked at kind of what, what makes things, what makes a poem a poem while Krista looked at uh, Songwriting 101. And so we kind of hit, hit two different sides of songwriting, the poetic elements and the musical elements and characters. Um, the next day we looked at writing about conflict. Part of our objective was to really inform people about the troubles, about the difference between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And part of the workshops and part of the activities involved going to Belfast, seeing the Peace Wall, you know, seeing the border between these two countries, which are essentially England, which is Northern Ireland, and the Republic of Ireland, which is Ireland. So what the area we're going into, you'll see just that the, the peace wall is still very much part of this community uh, where Protestant and Catholic are separated. There are grills on their back walls, and, and uh, these meshes are there to protect their, their building and stop uh, missiles coming over, be it petrol bombs or stones. Some of the memorials along the way are pretty powerful and pretty uh, controversial in a lot of ways. And they got to see that firsthand, get out, uh, got to ride on the Peace Wall, things that, that you read about, you know, but here they got to do it. And after being informed a little bit about what it means to write about conflict. And I smiled at the smell of incense that the church was packed at the door. Now I sail across the seven seas, see Maggie and her can, the key to the door of childhood forever in her hand. 